This video will focus on performing a MODAPS time study. So first, we'll double click the row header of the task that we want to perform our study on. We will then select the MODAPS time standard. From here, we can watch the video of the task that has been recorded in the Observe Time tab. And then we can record the elements as they occur. So I'm just going to list in a couple elements here. The video is on a repeat loop so that you can watch the video multiple times while you're performing your predetermined time study. Alright, so I'll stop the video there. There are several features that can be used within the MODAPS time standard. To view more about setting the process type, please see the setting process type video. The only difference within MODAPS is that a U is included for user defined times. In regards to setting the frequency, please see the specifying frequency video. The frequency can be set within the MODAPS editor by placing parentheses around the code and then setting the frequency out in front of the code. This is different than setting the frequency within the frequency column and that the left time in addition to the total time will be multiplied when a save is called. I'll just add in a few more elements here to demonstrate further features. If you would like to ignore code within an element, you can place angle brackets around that code. And that code will be ignored. You can also list multiple codes on one line. So to do that, I'm going to delete this one here and place it up above. When the save is called, you can now see that the frequency has been multiplied within the left time and the total time column. Whereas on line 4, it has not been multiplied in the left time column, but has within the total time column. On line 5, the W5 code has been ignored, but the time for the M3P0 code has been taken into account. In addition to being able to list multiple codes within one cell, you also have the ability to list left code and right codes simultaneously on a line. I'll demonstrate that here using some of the same code elements that we have above. In this scenario, a code can be indicated within the special code column. The default special code is high skill, so that would be a H within this column which means the higher of these two times is taken into a total time when a save is called. If the operator is indicated as low skill, then these two times will be added together when the save is called. To see more about editing the value added time for these elements, please see the predetermined time studies value added video. The templates within ModeApps are provided, but a user can also edit these templates or make their own templates. This will be covered in a later video. When a save is called, the total times are summed and multiplied by 0.129 because the total time are in mods, and the conversion unit between mods and seconds is 0.129. When this calculation is done, the normal time is displayed within the time data window in the default units set for this scenario.